welcome to Miss Martha Reed's story time. I'm Miss Martha, and I am so excited that you are joining me today for a very special episode. Today, we celebrate our one year anniversary of great stories. Yay! In addition to an excellent story, I've got a special special message from a secret guest. Want to find out who it's from? Let's take a look. Hi, Miss Martha. How's it going? It's me, Mr. Steve. I just want to say thank you so much for sharing all these great stories. I've been watching the episodes and I love them. I'm so impressed by the ideas and the writing from the young authors. Congratulations on your first year of Miss Martha Reads. Happy anniversary, right? <laughs> Keep up the hard work. We can't wait to see more. What a great message from our friend, Mr. Steve. Thanks, Mr. Steve. Now, let's get ready for another exciting story. This week's story is called The Baker Princess. This story was written by a kindergartner named Laura from Norfolk, Virginia. Let's put on our get listening ears. Click, click, so that we can find out about this Baker Princess. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Lily. She was so happy and she was always good to other people. She also had lots of friends. One day, she went to the village and saw a magic fountain. And then she made a wish. Oh, I wish that I was a baker. The next day, when she went to the kitchen, she discovered that her wish came true. She became a baker. She baked all day long. She baked all kinds of food and cookies and cakes she baked all the sweets that she could dream of. Then she went to the village and gave all the food to the people in need. She baked every day, again and again, so that no one would ever be hungry. Everyone loved the Baker Princess Lily and was so thankful for her kindness. The end. Oh, this story teaches us a great lesson. The princess in this story was not a selfish person, but she was a kind-hearted person and she thought of others instead of just thinking of herself. I want you to really think about the lesson in this story 
and try hard not to be selfish and only think of yourself, but think of others. And you know, a great way to do this is to practice sharing. Friends, I love sharing stories with you each week. And you know, if you practice sharing, it will actually make you feel better and it may actually put a smile on someone else's face, okay? Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before I go, I always have to remind you to practice, practice, practice your reading every single day to exercise your brain because I want you to be the best reader that you can be. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope that I'll see you the next time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.